Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you something a little different and actually take you along on my journey of I guess updating a spread before I move on into setting up this spread for the following week. So if you're interested in seeing how I make my updates and fill in the last three days of this week, please stick around. Thanks everyone. All right, so hopefully you guys like uh, this method. If you do, I really appreciate it. If you let me know in the comments down below comment section, um, I really appreciate the feedback. I always wanna make sure that I cater to what exactly it is that you guys enjoy. So the first thing I like to do is use my writing board over here and my traveler's clip just to clip down the page and create some of that stability. So I actually just, today is Sunday um, and I purposely filled Friday and Saturday with a bunch of stickers knowing that I uh, was going to be in class and probably wouldn't get to much here. So I actually have my, oh no, I guess I already scratched it. Let's see if I can shine her up here. Um, been dropping her a little bit. Um, my Pilot Vanishing Point pen um, in the EF Nim that I just treated myself to. Like I said, I've been dropping her around, so that's probably not great. Um, so that's what I'll be using today. And then I have my Cricut tweezers, some washi tape on the side that I probably won't touch, and some stickers here on the side, as well as my Hobonichi Basic Stencil, which is my absolute favorite, and some of my DIY planner stickers. So. I'm going to go here and just mark this section here with my due date sticker. Sorry, this sticker sheet is already almost done because um, I use them pretty frequently. I have gotten a lot of requests to do a video on how to make these stickers. <laughs> I will definitely try my best to get that out. Um, I've just been so swamped with work and school lately that I have not actually had a chance to uh, do my homework. As you saw in some of my previous videos, I haven't done that. Uh, so I will definitely put on the list. I'm sorry, I don't have a time frame of when that will be done. Let me actually move the mic a little bit here. Great. So I did that and then I completed these two tasks pretty last minute there. Um, did not think I was going to make it. And I wanna plan out my day. So I'm gonna go here and I just use my straight edge, my trusty straight edge. I might move this clip a little closer so it's nice and taut and kinda of plan it out. So we cleaned my office today. Um, another video that I owe you all is a studio tour or office tour. Um, of my renovated or I guess like it's not really renovated. It's really minor We added trim and replaced my day bed and a desk with a standing desk and a seated couch So that when I'm not feeling well, I have a space for me to take meetings um, And yeah, so I that was a new addition. I got an ottoman. It's a cow ottoman and I named him bandit So I'm really excited to share that with you all as well. So right now I'm filming um, So film videos of weeks. So I just filmed a haul video uh, of the clearance section um, at Staples as well as Hobby Lobby. So if you're interested in seeing that, that should either be out before this is posted, probably before this is posted. And then also today I need to study. So I need to catch up on my statistics. I haven't really been paying attention in class, so there's a good opportunity today for me to catch up on some of the lectures and see what I can do there. So I wanna just check off here what I've completed for school. I kind of read the homework, so I'm gonna give myself one. Um, that means like I started it, didn't finish. Statistics homework, I turned that in. And then uh, but presentation evals, I did that. And buy a $20 sweater, I did do that, yay! I actually have another homework that I completed here. So when I move the writing board over, that's probably when I fill it out here. But I do wanna finish up this section down below. So let's see what we have to offer here. So we are filming today. I'm gonna use this sticker to just mark that I did film. I also did post, but I don't have my trusty Archer and Olive Calligraph Pencil. Let me grab that real quick. I think the 
this is the right color i try to have everything in arm's length when i'm filming um however i if i don't <laughs> my office is pretty tiny so it's not a big deal so this is how i do it i just create a little blob like that using the broad tip end of my archer and olive dusty rose calligraph pen and then i have this used <laughs> sheet of youtube icon stickers that i made myself i designed it on procreate and brought it into cricut design space so that's what i'm using here and i like to like kind of overlap it but not put it right on top i think it gives it some depth maybe i don't know um, just to mark the that I posted a video today. So if you haven't seen that, take a look at that video. So you know what? I'm going to put that down here as mission accomplished. Actually, I'm not going to waste the space. So what I'm going to do here, because that's something I do want to get myself to do, is to bathe my dog. So I'm going to put bathe. Bailey today. Right? Bailey. And then a lot of times I like to write what video I posted. So I'm gonna put that over here on the margin um, just to mark that. And so that's gonna be week. So today is 48 degrees. I'm going to go with 45 for yesterday just because it's pretty similar. So this was 45. And because it hailed, it had to have been kind of cold. 48 degrees today. It's not much sun. And then I have this here. So I actually gave up <laughs> over here. Um, what I'm going to do is now switch my writing board over to the other side and probably just find a way to utilize these two blank spaces here. I think I'm gonna reflect on the week here and probably finish my journaling up top. So I'm gonna speed through this uh, for the sake of time. And then, yeah, sorry about that. Um, actually, my parents just came to visit on Sunday. So very exciting, always fun. It's been a while since I got to spend some time with them because of school and with work. Um, so let's continue. So I recall that it was a slightly cloudy on Saturday. So I'm going to draw a little cloud in. This is how I do it. I use my Zig Clean Color dot marker in this platinum color um, that I absolutely love. And it was also cloudy yesterday with a little bit of sun. So I'm just going to, wow, that's a little wonky cloud, huh? <laughs> I'm just going to do that. So there's a little bit of sun um, for the sun and the rain. So there was also hail. Actually have to just grab my calligraph pens I'm gonna put that here and so for the Sun I like to utilize this um, Archer and Olive calligraph pen not sponsored <laughs> well I like to use the fine tip side for in this mustard color and I like to pair it with one of my um, Hobonichi stencils so I like to change it up as you can see here this circle is slightly larger than this one so I'm gonna use a small one here it was sunny yesterday which was Saturday and there was actually hail um, in my neighborhood and like sun showers um, down by school. So that was really quite exciting. Um, so I don't know how I'm gonna mark that. I'm kind of taking a guess here. I have this other Archer and Olive Calligraph pen. This must have come from a subscription box before they started adding broad and fine tip. And then also before they started adding colors. So I don't know what color this is. To signify hail, I guess I'll do little circles. Um, you can't really tell, it's pretty faint in color. What I found with these um, these calligraph pens is that these two different sides actually don't match in color sometimes, which is so funny, but it's kind of fun. Whenever I pick a blue color, um, it doesn't match exactly with um, the color shown here, so it's kind of just <laughs> guessing. Um, so it's pretty cloudy today and actually pretty windy. Um, so I like to mark that with like swirls. That's what I've done in the past. So I'm actually going to use this big clean color dot marker and I'm going to just use the fine tip here, the 0.5 millimeter, and just draw some swirls to indicate the wind like that. And then I'm going to make a best guess for the weather on Friday because I can't fully remember. So I don't think it rained. So I'm going to go with the sun. And like I said, I'm going to change up the size of the circle by using a different, um, I guess, 
Hobonichi stencil and this one is the activity stencil sticking with that mustard color although I still also have this orange color I mean sorry green color no oh my gosh yellowish color here in this toucan orange so I'm going to stick with the mustard um, and then just trace this here on the side I don't actually know the temperatures and I guess I could look up today's temperature um so I might do that let me look up today so we're not completely blank here all right, so today is 48 degrees. I'm gonna go with 45 for yesterday just cause it's pretty similar. So this was 45. And cause it hailed, it had to have been kind of cold. 48 degrees today. It's not much sun. And then I have this here. So I actually gave up <laughs> over here. Um, what I'm gonna do is now switch my writing board over to the other side and probably just find a way to utilize these two blank spaces here. I think I'm gonna reflect on the week here and probably finish my journaling up top. So I'm gonna speed through this uh, for the sake of time. And then, yeah. All right, so I basically wrapped this up. Um, I wanted to do a sped through version. I actually spoke about the pens that I used during that uh, little video, sped through version video, and realized that I'm probably gonna speed through it. So I'm gonna just go over it again about the pens that I liked to use in this spread, um, just so you can get an idea. And I'm actually pulling some of the other ones as well. So the first thing I have here are the clouds here, as well as these swirls to indicate the wind, how windy it was. Um, today yes today and actually yesterday as well in the zig clean color dot marker uh, in platinum so that's what i used here i used um, the fine tip for the little swirls as well as the dot tip a rounded tip to make the different clouds i also used um, my calligraph pens here so let's see if i can get them all organized for you all um, so this blue color i used for the hail <laughs> on a saturday that uh, doesn't have a name because it came with it was like one of their first testers i think when they rolled out their subscription box over here for school i have this in blue bell this purple color i also have this in mustard for the sun or the suns and then i also have the dusty rose for these like highlighted titles here um, and then also for these icons, that's what I use. I use some of my DIY um, planner stickers. And yeah, just looked up the weather, marked things off as I went, spent time down here to reflect on how the week went, and then use this part up here to journal about, um, I guess, some reminders for me to remember to make time for the ones I love, and then also time for myself to relax. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. As always, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up to let me know. And if you're not subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you joined us as well. Thank you so much for your time, and until next time, bye everyone.